Good morning guys, welcome back. I actually have a coat on today and we are going to Bath. That's my mum, she's just arrived. Um, so I'm gonna head out now. We're gonna do hopefully some autumn shopping, but I really need to pick up some basics as well. My super good trainers, I just had mine for two years and I wear them every single day. So I think they need an update. And I'm actually going to a wedding this coming weekend, is it this coming weekend? And I need a slip to go under my dress. I'll show you the dress later on. But mum's here, I think she's keen to get going, keen to get in the shops. So better just check that I have my face mask and we'll get going. We made it to Bath, I'm here with mum. And we've actually got quite matching outfits on today. We're both in navy, we've got navy bottoms on and our super trainers. And we wanna have a look in a lot of the same shops. Mum actually said that she wanted some trainers, didn't you too? And I'm trying to get her used to the camera today. Does it feel weird? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I thought I would voice over this part of the video because with the masks on and the music in the store it was all a little bit muffled so hopefully this will be a bit more relaxing we popped into H&M first and I fell in love with this jumper which they had both in black and also camel it was from the conscious range and it was $17.99 I decided to pick up the camel and then mum and I both spotted the skirt at the same time and we both liked it. We joked about fighting over it to see who bought it. But we decided to both go for it, try it on at home and see if one of us liked it more than the other. It's this pretty print which was almost a little bit watercolory. It was $29.99 and I thought it looked quite a bit more expensive than it was. I then spotted this caramel blazer which I love the colour of but I wondered if it was a little bit too unstructured. You may know me, I like the tortoiseshell buttons and it was only $24.99 but I decided to put it back. They also had it in this kind of like khaki green color, which I also so thought was quite sophisticated. Sadly, these trousers weren't in my size, but I thought the color was gorgeous. I'm gonna have a look online and see if they have them in my size. We then popped to Jolly's, which I believe is the oldest department store in the country, correct me if I'm wrong. And mum tried on a few barber jackets, but didn't have much luck. And then we popped into Oka and just dreamt about all the gorgeous interiors. I fell in love with this olive tree, which I really wanted. I thought it just like wasn't too big. It's a really nice size. And mum wanted some new flowers to go in her dining room. We both have quite a few of these faux flowers from Oka. And they're really good, but we took some time trying to arrange a set and we just couldn't quite get it right. Look how pretty they all are there and they look so realistic. And we just moseyed round. I dreamt about the house being finished and what I would put in it when it's done. And then we headed to Anthropology. There were loads of bits in the home section that I really liked. I thought this pot was super cute, although I didn't quite know what I would do with it once I got home. And also this candlestick holder, I just wish that it was more gold with a silver accent because I have more gold in the house. I thought this was funny because this is so me. This is mum taking a picture of some prints that she liked on display to go home and kind of see where they would fit in the house. And I mean, who just doesn't love this dog mug? I thought it was so adorable. And then here's me crushing on some lunch boxes, as you do. But these, I think, are genuinely the nicest, cool lunch boxes that I have ever seen. I really like this blue one with the gold accent and just the neutrals. So pretty. Then I was tempted by this cute pumpkin pot puree. Sadly, they didn't have too much other autumn stuff, so I wanted to see some more before I picked that up, but I might be going back for it. And mum and I headed to Neptune for lunch later on. It looks very green, our meal, but it was really delicious, super healthy. And we had a little break before getting to a little bit more shopping. Or should I say dreaming about homely, beautiful put together interiors. And I'm back. It ended up raining for the whole afternoon, um, but it was so nice to just 
have a little bit of normality i also went in to have a hair consultation and a little touch test patch um for my hair to be done hopefully at the end of september it needs a little bit of an update after a year and a half since going to the hairdresser so that was good to get filled in but i think i will pick you up again tomorrow to show you some pieces that i got today Good morning guys, I wanted to try on for you some of the bits that I picked up yesterday. I actually didn't pick up too much. I have had my eye on quite a few things online for like the autumn season and there weren't that many in store yet. So it felt like very transitional still. It was super summery in one section and they were just bringing out a little bit of autumn but not too much. It seems like they've just dropped all the collections online and they're not yet in the store. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna be ordering the majority of stuff online at the moment anyway. If you're not in the UK, we can't go into the fitting rooms and try anything on at the moment. We can go in and browse um, and purchase things and then obviously we can return them if they don't fit, but we have to take them home to be able to do that, which does make shopping just that little bit harder especially if you're like me and you're perhaps just in between sizes so i can be in between a size 8 and 10 depending just like on the shop and the item but anyway let's show you some of the pieces i'm gonna chuck them on quickly actually let me just mention this dress i'm not sure if it'll be online yet but it was my bargain of the year i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna get a better bargain than this i got it in the netta porter sale and it was something like I think it was somewhere around 260, 270 pounds and it was down to like 70 something. So I snapped it up because I thought that it would be just like a gorgeous dress for autumn and I am hoping that I might be able to get out a little bit in autumn. It's definitely more of an evening dress but I'll um, show you guys just in case they do have some in stock. It also might not be on Netta Porter but it might be on the brand's website which I'll also link down below. It's actually really dark today and it's quite early in the morning so it's got that like gloomy feeling but imagine it i mean this is the kind of dress that you'd wear of an evening anyway um and i know it's going to be like a love hate thing i did say to ollie i was like does it look like you know grandma's curtains um and he actually said that he liked it so it was like well he is a tough critic so um it must be okay but it's just a wrap dress it ties in here it's got these lovely like ballooned sleeves you know how much I love a wrap dress um, and it's just, I mean the material is a little bit different, oops, see if I don't look at the camera and I can't see what I'm showing you guys, um, but I really adored the colours, so it's got like a champagne and a bit of a peach to it, but it's a really nice like low pile velvet, but it just feels so swishy and then it's quite long in length, but it's tiered, if you can see just here it starts pleating out a little bit and I've got my longish boots on with it and it does have quite a big slip at the front and it's beautifully lined inside i mean i can see why it cost as much as it did and it does seem like a really good quality dress i just hope i get to wear it this year i mean you never know we might have some weddings we're going to a wedding this weekend actually so maybe a nice winter wedding i'm not sure i'm going to be able to show you but you can also tie this one at the back which i think is actually quite nice Oh, if I can grab them both. It's quite nice for more of an evening look. It makes it just look like that little more, bit more like sleek and sophisticated without having the bow right at the front. I mean, I'm quite into the granny chic anyway. <laughs> this is the H&M dress. I got this one in the size 10 and I'm glad I did because to be honest, it's like it's tight enough in the arms. I definitely wouldn't want to go down to a size eight. So if you are in between, I'd say, go up a size but I really like the print it goes perfectly with the boots that I have from last season I know that loads of you got these from Min Velvet I hope they bring them out again this year because I just adore them and basically want them in every single color um it's quite a smart dress but I really do like the neckline it's like a shirt style but it's actually quite simple with the v-neck it's got some nice pockets it ties in here with um, a gold belt which I also really love because I always accessorize with gold and I've just 
put up the um, sleeve a little bit, but you can obviously also just tie those down. And the length, if I wasn't wearing my boots, it would come kind of like just below my knee. If you did want to make it just like perhaps that little bit younger, um, you could also um, pop open the buttons a little bit, which I'd probably do. Um, and to be honest, I really like these outfits because when it starts getting a bit colder, you end up not seeing particularly what's underneath your outfit. And I just find these really amazing to like pair with a coat and make an outfit look really put together without particularly trying. And I personally have quite a few coats. Like I could pick up the creamy color from this or I could also pick up the brown color. Oh no, I thought I was gonna prefer the dress to the skirt, but actually I prefer the skirt and with them both being the same print from H&M, I probably won't keep both. I'll just keep one. And I think it's the skirt. What do you guys think? You think this just, feels a little bit more me. Um, it'll also be really versatile because I can wear it with different jumpers or dress it up, dress it down, wear it with a nice blouse um, to go out in the evening. But equally, oh my gosh, I adore this jumper. It is so flattering. I wish that I'd also picked it up in the black, but that's the thing with not being able to try things on. But the camel color just is so beautiful. I love the sleeves. They've actually got like quite um, a wide rim that goes around here and I just think it's so flattering with a little puff um, and then the arms are like baggy but not too baggy I'd still easily be able to get quite a nice structured coat on and the square neckline kind of hits me just right I often find that sometimes they're like a little bit too high and it looks a bit odd or too low but I think pretty good actually I'm wondering if they do it in any other colors a cream would be lovely too and it's also nice because knits can quite often just seem like chunky and not pretty or feminine but this one just hit ticks all of the boxes for me then the skirt so it is the perfect length i'd say i love um when the kind of like midi skirts aren't too long and as you can see this one again i mean it's very similar to the dress but it hits me like just under the knee which i think is the most flattering length for a dress in a skirt once it gets a little bit longer it gets that little bit like unflattering i'd say unless you're definitely going to wear heels which practicality i don't often always do in the winter um, it's super comfortable because it's got the elasticated band i got both of these in a size small and i definitely say they're true to size and i guess the main the main love affair with this one is just the print again let me show you a bit further back so you can see hopefully you can see her like the full effect of the skirt. It's nice to be able to see at full length what it looks like as an outfit. These two match perfectly, even though they weren't paired together in the store. I think they go really nicely. If you're not into light colors, this would also go with a really nice dark brown or equally more of a creamy color. And the good thing is, is that you could probably wear this skirt right now without boots, um, with trainers when it's a little bit cooler and just a t-shirt and a denim jacket. I'm actually thinking even today, even though today is really gloomy, it is a bit hot especially to be in jumpers just yet, but I think I'm definitely going to go ahead and order this jumper in some other colors if, um, if they do have them in any other colors. And I thought I'd just quickly show you some dresses that I picked up from and other stories. I actually was looking for a dress for my brother's birthday and this is the one that I wore. I just love it. It's definitely on the summery side, but I feel like because of the length, you can still very much get away with wearing it now. It is so flattering, just so flattering. Um, I'm not sure whether it's the neckline or the sleeves or the way that it like, kind of like pulls in in the most perfect place, but it does just create a really nice silhouette. So I think it's in, and you'll have to excuse me because I've literally just pulled it out of the wash. Um, I think it's in more of a linen-y material um, because it does crease slightly, but not too much. Like it didn't crease on the night out, but it's obviously a little bit creased having come out of the wash. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's got these gorgeous puff sleeves, kind of like comes in and pleats just a little bit here, like goes around the bust, but then it also pulls you in at the waist. It does have quite a high slip, kind of like in between your hips and your knees. It's definitely not too low. Um, and then it goes down to quite a little bit above my ankle. So it's still quite flattering. I wore my Castana wedges with this one, the light ones, and I know so many of you have them and it goes perfectly like the creamy color picks up exactly the same i mean it was just a really good coincidence so if you're still looking for a bit of a summery dress or actually 
these might have started to go into the sale so i'll double check if they have or not but i presume that they will be at kind of like some point soon then i also got this khaki number which actually i had my eye on for quite a while i do know that they do this in different colors and i just thought it was the kind of shape that i would really like and i definitely do again it's a really flattering style i love the little cap sleeve it's just enough for me um it is a bit of a wrap so it goes in underneath here and then it just ties to the side which i also think is flattering so they've got just like this little bit of ruching but it's not too much and it's quite nice that the knot doesn't sit right in the middle just like sitting to the side i think makes it that little bit more flattering and this dress is definitely on the shorter side definitely for the kind of like summertime but i felt like with the khaki color i could still get away with wearing it on warm days in september okay the last dress but a really pretty one actually when i ordered it i really liked it and then it came and it arrived and i was like oh i'm just not sure um and that's because it has all of the like glittery stripe going through it and online it looked quite like understated and then when it arrived and I hadn't tried it on, I was like, ooh, it looks like a little bit on the gaudy side. But trying it on, I don't think it's gaudy at all. In fact, the stripes just kind of like disappear and definitely the shimmery shininess to them. And I think in a little bit of sunlight, it'd be really nice. The dress is so comfortable, but at the same time, really flattering. Again, it's got that square neckline, which is just really in at the moment. The little puffed sleeves. I love the seersucker, how it comes in kind of over the bust and waist area here because I always feel like this is kind of like the most flattering part to accentuate. Then it ties in and it drops. It's quite long in length, but I like that you can kind of see the lining underneath and then it goes a little bit more sheer. So it doesn't look so kind of like blocky towards the bottom. Um, and it's definitely quite a long midi length again, but plenty to still like, you could still wear this with flats and it would still be really flattering. And I actually thought, not that I'm pregnant or planning on having a baby, but if any of you are, I'd love to live through you on this one. I thought it'd be so sweet for a gender reveal because it's got like the pink and the blue and the like goldy yellow stripe. I don't know. I just thought that it was like a nice dress that had like multiple colors on it. So yeah, there's that one. And just like generally overall, it looks quite white. Um, like you don't initially see all of the color to it, but yeah, really quite flattering. I think that's just my bra bulking there with a the tag at the back <laughs> and then i just got a card for my granny for her birthday unfortunately that is a little bit bent uh my concealer i actually go between nars and bobby brown for this one they're pretty much the same consistency i find them very very similar and i had the bobby brown one last time so i was like oh, i'll go for nars this time <laughs> don't know why and i get this one in custard i said we're going to a wedding this weekend and i totally run out so i really needed some of that and i brought this one down this morning because i have been meaning to answer you guys on this one um a few of you have been asking about my eyeshadow and also the like kind of like shimmer on um my cheeks for the blush really simply it's both this so i use very little on my face like i don't have a lot of stuff but this one I kind of like multi-use. So it's the Shimmer Brick um, from Bobbi Brown. And I've got it in the pink quartz. And it's literally just what it says on the tin. It's a Shimmer Brick. And I kind of like pick out one of the colours for my eye. And then like I swish it all around for my cheeks. It's got a lovely shimmer to it. And it kind of like gives that summer glow. Or like all year round glow. I feel like you just want to keep that going when summer is over. So they were the items that I picked up yesterday and I think for like the last month really. Yeah, because my brother's birthday was at the beginning of August. So it's about a month and it's definitely not as much as I would have picked up last year. I think that's just down to the situation at the moment. I'm not going out very often, leaving the house. Like we don't have that many events going on. A lot of things got cancelled. Obviously we didn't go on holiday. I don't know if you guys have been the same or like kind of shopping has been keeping you a little bit more sane i know that trying on a nice dress and even just wearing it around the house is so nice actually i'm going to be wearing this one today because i love it and i want to get in wearing it this year but i've definitely been more reserved like not because of the renovations or because we're spending all of our money on that but just because i guess maybe i've not felt very inspired to shop because i'm not going anywhere but if you guys would like to see a lot more fashion content i know so many of you are saying that you want to see what I have new in are you okay if that's like 
not so much of a big haul but it's just little bits that i've been picking up then i can definitely add that in let me know in the comments because come october i'm hoping um to do a few more videos i do have a few sponsored videos which typically like buses have all come at once so i'm sorry about that but it has meant that i am able to do much more on the house um, and hopefully film more for you guys so i hope you understand that but it's all brands and companies that i absolutely love but i think for today um i'll probably round off this video i need to go to the post office and pick up a load of radiator valves um, so that we have that in time for the radiators to be fitted upstairs. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope that you're all good. Are you looking forward to the autumn season or not? I feel like it's come so quickly, but I'm looking forward to getting comfy and cozy and getting the house and all of my clothes ready for autumn and winter. Yeah, I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful weekend and look after yourselves. Bye.